seventh seal was not broken! Abaddon! <laughs> what in heaven's name have you done? I answer the call. were broken. I was summoned. Then where are the other horsemen? Were they not summoned as well? The seven seals are hidden, as they have been since the pack was forged eons ago. All of them intact. There was no call. You made it the Dark Ones, broke a secret covenant that has doomed mankind, and threatened the balance. Do you deny it? When I rode, heaven and hell were already at war. Abaddon was there. He knew something. Abaddon fell, fighting off the chaos you unleashed. I fought powerless against the demons, and still you accuse me. Your defeat proves nothing. Likely the destroyer cast you aside when he was finished with you. You have defiled the law, horseman. You will be punished. I serve only the Council. Only the Balance. As the Horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have against the Destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail. And the Demons will have carried out your sentence. confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the Destroyer's favor. Volgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? <laughs>
Looks like our trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? Long enough for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. Then the third kingdom is lost. Seriously. If so, you're surely not empty-handed. This shall be the briefest of introductions. Seek the power behind the one called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the fault of his power there. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. These ancient gates have a mind of their own. But with this, you may reach an understanding. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say, a threat. You will find, he is no friend to the Destroyer. Seek me out, when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your way. Still breathes. Hmm. The destroyer, yes. To his service we are bound, though enemies we remain. So his enemies we call friends.
Are you here to play execution? They should have set all four of you. I have no interest in killing you, Samael. Ah, the Destroyer! He's beyond your reach, beyond mine. Has prison made you a coward? There is a way, but you will need to get inside the Destroyer's Spire. The tower is guarded by four of his chosen. Bring me their hearts and ask me no questions. My reasons for helping you are my own. Where can I find these guardians? First, seek the Twilight Cathedral, where the Bat Queen Tiamat has gone to roost. The whole of her domain is a blistered inferno. By land, you will never reach it. Find the high ground with this. And bring me her still beating heart. Come for the destroyer. My brother spoke of your coming. But a powerful curse holds me now. I cannot help you. Any curse can be broken. Yes, perhaps. These servants of the destroyer walk unseen within the realm of shadow. By their blood we are bound. By their blood shall we be free. I can no longer move within the Shadow Realm. Much of my power has left me. You need not enter it. I will grant you the power to see into the accursed realm for a time. But to what end? What hope have we now against the Destroyer's foul surgery? Hope will not bring you freedom. Yes. It's there, beneath the stench of this place. You can sense it, ancient. From neither the White City nor the Black Depths, there's something lost between. Wish. 
Can you restore the balance? Without your feathered friend, how will you escape this prison of rock? I'll find a way. You have certainly proven yourself resourceful. Perhaps I can provide a quicker way. Speak plainly, demon. Serpent holes, ancient paths that worm their way beneath the husk of this dead world and beyond. I use them to get about, and for a price, so can you. What do you want, Baldrum? A trifle, really? The Chosen's heart. I felt its power the moment you stepped from that tower. You wound me, horseman. I would never come between you and your friend Samael. No, I only wish to look at the heart. One glance, and our bargain is sealed. <laughs> Samael will be pleased. The Serpent Holes are yours, Horseman. Seek me out when you wish to use them. I trust that she suffered. Not nearly enough. Beautiful. The second guardian, the Griever, moves in tunnels beneath this place. But first there is sad obstacle that must be removed. Ulfain, one of the old ones. You didn't mention that before. Changing the deal already, Samael. Be silent, Wilf. My business is with the horseman. Ulfain is no ally of the Destroyer. But you won't find the Griever without confronting the Black Hammer. That will require strength you don't possess yet. What the hell do you think you are doing, Samael? Tell me, Watcher, how you stifle a horseman's true power in order to keep him on the Council's leash. War! Destroy this parasite. You so much as blink at me, and the council will end you, both of you. I'm protected. Not in here. You are war, rider of the red horse. Not some prophet on this pathetic creature's streams. War, I will make you suffer. Focus your anger. A great rage stirs within you, clawing to get out. You must release it, or a puppet.
There must be another way. The curse must be broken. Then you may pass. Hundred years since the day Abaddon was taken from us, I have prayed for this moment. For your crimes, I would see you tried in the White City. But until this world is free of the Destroyer, its gates are closed to us, and justice will not wait. I sentence you here and now. but don't concern you. Go on, fly away, pigeons, before I pluck you. Blasphemer, it is you who take sides in a battle that doesn't concern you. <laughs> Please, allow me. among tombstones. Why? What role did you play in this whole thing? Horseman, I've got something for you. A fair bit of work, but uh, it's a bit dainty for me. It'll serve you better.
You didn't answer my question, old one. Maybe I like the scenery, was it to you? You asked for my help and I gave it. You go on being ungrateful and I'm liable to get upset. Do I look like I'm afraid of death, boy? It's not death you should fear. Did you enjoy yourself? War in the Black Hammer, plucking pigeons. <laughs> you see a great many things from inside a prison, Samael. There is little you can keep from me, horseman. Once I have a mind to know it. And what do you know of Uriel? <laughs> ah, I thought the horsemen were above such earthly pursuits. She believes I killed Abaddon. The Hellguard worshipped their fallen lord and leader. And Uriel? <laughs> Some might say her admiration was less than professional. <laughs> she will stop at nothing to punish the one responsible. I fought the demon who killed Abaddon, and he will be punished. Straga is the strongest of the Chosen. No doubt you'll face him again. He draws power from the Spire and won't stand to be away from it for long. With all I have taught you, you might even survive the reunion. Whose heart would you have, demon? The Stygian is king of the ancient worlds that now plague the Ashlands. It won't be easy. The worms grow well in such fertile ground. Fertile? Fertile with death. Decay. All the land is covered in it. The ashes of the dead. But you may be in luck. It seems that some fool demons have taken to capturing the worms for sport, and they hunt other creatures as well. The strongest are made to fight in cruel arenas. The demons seek to tame the Stygian, not knowing that within the monster there beats the black heart of the Chosen. How do the demons avoid the ash worms? You know of the Chronospheres? A gift of the Old Ones. It is said that to master the Chronosphere is to master time itself. One could stop time, or even move it forward and back. Indeed. None of the Old Masters exist, but the demons have learned to use them to a lesser degree. I can grant you a basic understanding of the Kronospheres. It won't be much. Perhaps just enough to avoid the worms. Perhaps. Perhaps not. What in this life is certain, horsemen? Other than our word, of course. Fight 
said the seventh seal was not broken. I've heard those words before. Abaddon said the same right before he died.
is sick, Horseman. The Charred Council refuses to admit it, but those of us who look, we see. We had to do something. An open attack on the Dark Kingdom would violate the treaty. What you're proposing is madness! As real evil darkens every corner of creation, heaven waits. The Council ties our hands. To question them is to question the Creator. Do you believe you know better? Yes, old friend. I do. When the seals are broken, Hell will send its chosen to declare battle rights. Their leaders will be gathered in one place, and there, we will sever the head of the beast. The Hell God stands ready. Breaking the seals will trigger the end war. The kingdom of man is not yet strong enough. Earth will be destroyed. And there will be no war, Azrael. We will crush the Dark Ones before it's even begun. The pact is a sacred covenant. Even in victory, you'll face the wrath of the Council. They will arrive to find the seals intact. And it will be our word, Heaven's word, against that of the Prince of Lies. Now do you see? The seals will be reforged. All will believe that Hell's legions invaded and were delivered to justice by our hand. For the glory of the light, will you do this? Oh, Asriel, you old fool. Confession. My service to the council is ended. We made you. We owe. We're not done until you find the destroyer and shut him down. Balance, remember. Get up. Azrael lives until he stops being useful. After that. Strong is the mightiest 
as I said, Straga and the top are one. Now let's see how useful I can be. He fell. Saw him. I brought him here to Eden. What treachery is this, Azriel? Eden doesn't exist. Not anymore. Ignorant sprite. I bore witness as the first ones were cast out and the garden fell to ruin. I could not let heaven's first gift and greatest weapon simply rot or worse, fall to darkness. I hid it away. The Tree of Knowledge. Then, Abaddon has been to the tree. You must draw upon its gifts now. If some way exists to stop the Destroyer, the tree will show it to you. I never dared use it myself. Perhaps if I had, things would have been... different. And Abaddon was of his gift. That was not for me to know. Each who comes before the tree receives a different gift. Some receive nothing. Others are driven mad by visions. Or simply destroyed. No. I cannot say for certain. Come. Would you serve in heaven or rule in hell? The storm is coming, Uriel. Soon. I will need you at my side. I would follow you into hell, my lord. They knew. How did they? <laughs> the best laid plans. Or so the humans used to say. You... did this? You plotted and schemed to call us to this world. I simply took advantage of your initiative. No. I will consider this an offering, Abaddon. And you, my loyal servant, join me and take up the mantle of the Destroyer. No. Once the throne learns what you've done, you'll be cast down. Dragged in chains before the council. You're already damned. So I offer you this choice. Would you serve in heaven? Or rule in hell? Now, return to Azrael. Persuade him to help us. Then, together, we will change the face of the universe. <laughs> Abaddon must be punished. He bends the law to his will, laughs in the face of the council. What proof do we have? The seals are intact. No doubt the angel had help, but from whom? Until we know, we must wait. His act breeds open defiance. The council weakens. How long before we are overthrown? We cannot stop Abaddon, but there are others who might, if they had reason. We cannot send the ball. Without proof, there is no justice, only murder. They will see no reason in this assassination. We will send one, for whom vengeance is reason enough. The blade is scattered. I guard the seventh seal. This world is ours. Heaven is ours. 
You had to know it was a one-way ticket. Abaddon is the destroyer. The Archangel? He was betrayed. He is only a pawn in some greater game. You must bring him peace. Peace? Abaddon is the destroyer. I'm pretty sure peace is off the table. Did you find any clues among the visions? A way to stop him? There was a sword. One which broke the seals. The Armageddon Blade. But... After the seals were broken, Abaddon ordered the blade destroyed on the very anvil of its creation. Horseman... I fear the blade is lost to us now. It will be made again. What else did you see? Abaddon guards the seventh seal. He plots with others to storm the White Gates. Uriel will lead the Hellguard against him and fail. What else did you see? I saw nothing else. I will open a gate to Eternus. Once it is closed, the Garden and its secrets will be lost forever. When you are ready, I will begin. He will help you. He must help you. Abaddon will have scattered the sword's remains, hidden them where none that walk in the light could find them. The Shadow Realm. Yes. Use the Mask of Shadows. Assemble the Broken Blade. Then, return it to the Forge of the Black Hammer. When this is done, return to me. Perhaps I can serve you one last time before the end. Azrael, at any time you could have left me to my fate, dead in the tower, lost among the ashes of Eden. Why do you help me now? When this is over, the Council will see that justice is done. I will kill Abaddon, and all who schemed with him. We all must answer for our sins, Horseman. When the hour of my judgment comes, I will embrace it. Whatever the light decides, go. Waste no more time on me. And tell Othane, he is the last hope of an old fool. This is no ambush, Horseman. I come alone. I, Uriel of the Hellguard, champion of the White City, Call you, horseman, to Nex Sacramentum. Fool. I lay claim to your life before the Creator. Will you dishonor this law as well? Why? Because Abaddon said you understood honor. And because he was the best of us. The Death Oath cannot be broken until one falls by the hand of the other. I accept. <laughs> Oath to me. Abaddon is the destroyer. Liar! To protect you, he kept you from the truth. You pledged to follow your lord into hell, 
never knowing what awaited you, or what he would become. Abaddon. He was betrayed and became the enemy of all creation. I've been to the tree. Its gift was truth, and I share it with you now. Remember the Death Oath. Soon it must be fulfilled. work until now Justice of a corrupt council, and a creator who abandons his most faithful. I offer you this choice, horseman. Would you serve in heaven, or rule in hell? I choose what once a coward did not.
taught me something, Abaddon. Sometimes duty must be cast aside to do what must be done. It is not for duty that I kill you now. Uriel. Uriel. Reap what you have sown, betrayer. Executioner, because of your precious honor. They let you take the fall. They knew you'd butcher everyone involved to clear your name. And you did. No! Patience, whore. I've got some for you, too. I'll take that. If it were to get broken, you might get ideas. Like not going back in your little cave. It's tragic, really. You had freedom in the palm of your hand, and you lost it. <laughs> What's so damn funny? Even you wouldn't laugh at your own funeral. I'm laughing at yours. Next sacramentum. The death oath is complete. God, bitch! What did you do? No, no, no! I'm going to pull your guts out through your hell! <laughs> Keep getting up. I'll just kill you again. <laughs> Following orders, like you! <laughs> what are you going to do? Fight the council? Fight everyone? <laughs> You'll never get away! You hear me? Never! <laughs> Don't forget who holds the leash. You knew. You knew what would happen to you, what I would do. That's why you spared me. No. Then why? Because I would not have the last of Heaven's honor die with its champion. All debts are repaid. The duty I uphold, it may call me to raise my sword against you. And if that day comes, I won't hesitate. You will be hunted! The White City for certain! The Council and... There will be others! You would wage this war alone? No. Not alone.